Oh dear. Hi, lovely. Lore talk, you guys gotta understand. Let's talk about the founder of the Golden Order. Also possible founder of the Two Fingers, Queen Merica, and wife to the first Elden Lord, Godfrey. Now, to understand, she has fought wars with other people for power so her ideals could be pushed around to the world. So she's have gotten to wars with the Ray Lacarian Academy, with Queen Renala, Volcano Manor, even Kaled. But it was also the fact that th there's two sides of the same coin. There was Radigan. Radigan actually followed the complete teachings of the two fingers. As for Queen Merica, she wanted to use the ideals of the two fingers to make herself immortal. So she removed the, the rune of death that Ronnie and the questline searches for. Because Ronnie wants to undo all that, which understandably so. Because without death being part of the natural order, it throws the world into complete chaos when the natural order is disrupted. And Queen Merica has disrupted the natural order just so she can be young and beautiful and live forever. So to understand Queen Merica... It's gotten to the point where she's even casted her ex-husband, Godfrey, out from the lands, the lands in between. The, no, the, yeah, the lands in between. That's what it's called. But yeah. And that's when Godfrey became Hora. Of course, I haven't got past that part of the game, I just know, from watching other lore channels. But watching enough lore channels has got me to come to this entire conclusion but yes she has banished her own first husband from the lands between because things got out of control I imagine it'd probably be the biggest couple's dispute on well godly proportions but there's a reason now Queen America it's just like you, Yevin, in Final Fantasy X, where it's really of the uh, to use idealism to get what they want—a selfish desire by manipulating millions of people into believing it in a cult-like thing. Now, this is where the birth of the Golden Order comes from. The Two Fingers was the initial belief that someone had to become Elden L Lord, and they had to have a maiden. And they had to have the requirements to become Elden Lord. Which was actually normally a good thing. Until the, you know, Rune of Death has been removed from the world, from the history and the nature of the world. Causing a whole bunch of causality. And what I like about games like Dark Souls and stuff like that is the in-depth spiritual story of this. Because it's so real it hits home. When it comes to how organizations get started originally organization is like telephone it gets started as a as its original intent purposes and then once new information comes it gets changed and changed and changed now what Queen America did and this is what probably angered Godfrey made Godfrey angry at America is that she changed the, the beliefs of the two fingers and turn it into the Golden Order, which the Golden Order wasn't supposed wasn't to say the to cure mankind from the problems it has. As a matter of fact, it caused more war and death and suffering than if they would have just stuck to the original teachings. This is why Radigan had a disagreement with America and why he split it off from America. Even even getting to the point where when Radigan had to fight a war against Ray Lacarian City. 
you know, Radigan started falling in love with the enemy, Queen Renala, and had kids with Renala, Radon, Rykar, and Ronnie. But Ronnie denounced her flesh. That's why she's blue. She denounced her complete flesh because she didn't want to be related to any of that stuff. Because she knows that Radigan, her father, was actually the found as one of the pre-founders of the Golden Order. But remember, Radigan followed the original teachings as the way it should. You know, Radigan was pretty much like Qui Gon Jinn. How Qui Gon Jinn and Star Wars followed the will of the Force. Not no political idealism. As for Queen America, turn it to a political thing and a super religious cult things. And that's also why her 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 youngest son got from Godfrey Godric turned into one of the reasons. Also, could be one of the contributing reasons why Godric has turned into a tyrant and rule with fear because. His mother did the same thing. Because if you notice, even in, in the imagery and everything, she's all hanged up like if she's crucified. She's hanged up. They don't agree with her idealism. And if, in fact, they wanted to get rid of everything dealing with Godfrey because, well, and, 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 the Golden Order until, well, later on, the Golden Order took over the rest of the world, but, you know, they wanted to get rid of the, the old idealism because Queen America, she was only spreading her idealism only to suit her vanity. She wanted immortality. That's why she got rid of the Rune of Death, and she didn't want no one speaking out against her. Because she, if she could continue this tradition, she'll be remembered. And being remembered is very important to people like this. People who start these ideals, they're very dangerous long, many years at, you know, down the line. Is because, you know, over for vanity stuff. Now it'd be kind of funny, be actually funny to see like a Queen America, you know, start charging people money so she can... Get the fanciest castle or the fanciest dresses. But jokes aside, though, that's exactly the kind of attitude America has. It's not about the two fingers. The Golden Order is the warship of Queen America herself. This woman has four to five churches of hers. Four, four or five or more churches all around the lands between and places. A lot of build, church buildings were, bet to, were, were made to honor her. Even though to be honest, she got dishonored because people didn't like them playing with the natural order. Because at least people in Elden Ring actually have common sense to realize... Yeah, maybe getting rid of death or dark is not such a good idea because you throw the world into chaos. It's probably not the best because it causes causality. Death is actually a natural part of life. No matter how messed up it is, it is a natural part of life. Removing it completely messes things up. And it's funny because... Because the... She thinks Queen Renala is evil because Renala uses sorcery. But Renala never used her power to try and influence the world. Now she has went crazy over Radigan and, you know, lost her mind to the point where they had to lock her up in the academy, which is a different problem altogether. But, see, the thing is, America uses miracles. And. For as long as time has begun, miracles and sorceries always been at each other's heads because they're different sources. And that's really the truth. It's because there's different sources of, of power. Because they want one only all power and one only influence around the world. Pretty much sharing cultures is something that Queen America couldn't get on board with. 
You know, and that's also probably why Godfried and then Radigan got mad at her for that. Of course, it didn't really matter because Radigan ended up with Queen Merica as her second husband and the second elder lord. And that's when they had kid, two extra kids, which are very, I wouldn't say the word, but Alabama-like. And this is where you meet the Scar uh, Scarlet Rot Queen Milani or Melania that you're gonna fight later in the games, but she's on the preview of the trailer. She's the Rot Queen, while her brother Mikala is trapped into an egg because Mik M Mikala, well, he's not there. He's technically not born, but he is. It's very complicated, but it's it makes sense because. It would be into the Alabama category because Radigan and America are one of the same being. There's even messages saying such in the game. There's a, you know, they are the same being. Radigan's the male version. America's the female version. But the point is, they both have different beliefs. Yeah, it's like Piccolo and Kami from Dragon Ball Z. They're two sides of the same coin. So it would kind of be weird, even if though they're separate people... But they're from the same place. It'd be weird for Queen America and Radigan to make kids, which happened because, well, I mean, this is a Souls game, and George R. R. Martin is actually writing the script of the story, so we'll just leave it at that. But yeah, for some reason, Radigan was attracted to his, you know, female half that makes him in the first place. But very questionable stuff. I'm not gonna get into. I feel bad for Queen Rolala, but yes, this is your basic talk about the lore of Elden Ring. If you'd like to see more, I'll do more, but this is pretty much what you need to know about Queen Merica, the uh, Elden Ring avatar, and wife to the first Elden Lord. May the crystal be with you. May the crystal bless you too.